like talking to a wall when you don't look at me I wanna speak my mind and tell you how I feel But it's like talking to a wall when you don't look at me Please just look at me I'm a ticking time bomb that goes up easily You always know which buttons you should push, baby I'm a ticking time bomb that goes up easily But you're still here Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Sundays at Tiffany's. If you're new here, I upload every single Tuesday and Sunday. And Sundays I usually try to do things that will help you get ready for the week ahead. So today I am just kind of reorganizing and restocking my kitchen. So the first thing I'm doing is just washing out any of the bins that I had in the pantry, uh, you know, that we needed to be refilled and washed out. Okay, tell the truth. Do you wear gloves when you wash dishes? And if you do, do you wear them every time? I get so many comments on my channel like, you should be wearing gloves. And then when I wear gloves, people are like, that's so great that you're wearing gloves. You won't age your hands. Anyway, now that that stuff is all washed, I'm just kind of showing you what we're working with here. We're going to be restocking the pantry. My supplement cabinet, we take lots of supplements. And yes, I know we get lots of nutrition from our food. However, our soil is depleted, so we do need supplements in our life. Um, so I'm organizing that as well as the drawer you just saw. I finally caved and caught those. Um, and then here's just some of the organizing products that I purchased from Amazon, Target, and TJ Maxx. So I washed and dried out our containers and now I'm just refilling our cereals. Um, if you're worried about expiration dates at all, you can just use a chalk marker and write that on whatever you're putting your food into. However, with for kids and just being a family of six in general we don't really need to worry about expiration dates because we go through things so quickly and if it's an item that I am concerned about the expiration date I will just go ahead and write that down All right, the cereals are nice and restocked, and now I'm just stocking my stuff. I have hemp parts here. I'm going to be doing some chia seeds that don't fit properly, so I put them in a different container. You'll see that in a second, as well as some ground flax. And with all three of these, I make it delicious, like pudding in the morning. The recipe is from Jessica Spires. I'm sure she has it on her channel or on her Instagram, but it's just really delicious and nutritious. Wow, I can't believe I just said that. Um, but I found out that all of this stuff needs to be going in the fridge, so unfortunately, my fridge in the kitchen doesn't have any space, so luckily, we have an extra fridge in the garage, which is really helpful as a large family and that's where I'll be putting all of this stuff. Next, I'm just refilling our popcorn and chips. I like to put these into the containers and then whatever's left over, I'll put into snack bags so that Carter can grab it and put it in his lunch in the morning. the same it's like we're on two sides of the milky way 
In today's video, I'll also be showing you where I put like our overstock because people are like, oh, those containers are so cute, but like, what do you do with the extras? And I just like to put everything in a container so that we can see them. It entices the kids to eat them. Um, and we just see everything that we have, plus it keeps everything nice and organized. And then I keep the extras on the bottom of the pantry and then I refill when things are needed. I'm adding a Lazy Susan here for our um, popcorn, or should I say Tina Turner? Which one do you guys call it? Um, I was taught on here how to do Tina Turner. I think that's so much more fun because Susan really deserves a break. Um, she's just tired. Uh, but anyway, we have popcorn movie nights a lot. It's like our thing. Um, so you'll see later I also have some movie theater candy that I'll be organizing. I keep it up high so the kids can't really get to it as they please. Um, so yes, and yes, I've seen all of the horror stories about popcorn, but... Um, I don't let Evie have it and the other kids I'm not too worried about. I usually watch them when they're eating. Um, so anyway, now we're refilling our taco shells. We always have to have taco shells because we have taco night at least once a night. You know, our constants are some kind of pasta night, a taco night, breakfast for dinner. We usually do a pizza night and then something else in there. What is something that you have every single week? So here's the candy that I was talking about. Some of this is left over from their Valentine's Day and some from St. Patrick's Day, but I'm just going to organize it, put it up nice and high. Um, my kids are actually very good about asking if they can have treats. Usually they'll just grab a snack because I let my kids snack when they want to, um, but if they know that it's like something sugary, they'll usually ask me first. All right, that is high enough. Um, I could barely reach it with a stool, but I'm only 5'2", so that doesn't tell you much. Um, so now I'm just restocking all of our bars. It feels really good to have this done because I've just been closing the pantry door for a while now. And then I just grabbed some extra snacks yesterday for the week ahead for school lunches and all of that. So I'm happy to be starting our week off fresh with everything nice and organized. And besides organization giving you peace of mind and looking nice, it just helps you honestly not waste money because you can see what you have. When I'm not organized, I rebuy the same food and then I get mad that I already had that, things go bad, and it's just wasteful. So organizing is a great way to get a hold on both of that. Also, I don't know if anybody can relate to this, but I have been an organizer my entire life. Um, it just really helps my anxiety and Whenever I'm just feeling like stressed or anxious, cleaning and organizing has just always been something that helps me like have my space around me clean and organized. Just makes me feel better inside when I can't control all of the stress and thoughts on my mind. I can control the things outside of, you know, in my home um, to just make it a little bit easier. I don't know if that makes sense or if you can relate, but that's what works for me.
All right, who remembers my Costco haul from one of my last videos? I'm finally getting around to doing that. Um, you know, just unloading everything from that. Just some coconut waters, as well as some chips and stuff. Um, yeah, I really love how this all came out just because you can find the things that you need and know everything that you have. Also, let me know if you're enjoying this video down in the comments below. I was a little upset because I was supposed to post my spring clean and decorate. I was very excited for it. However, um, it just wasn't approved in time. So I'm hoping that that will be live on Tuesday. Fingers crossed because I just love how everything came out in the house. And I think you will too. I did just like really simple yet clean and beautiful decor. I also got a new mirror for the entryway. And I'm obsessed with how that came out. So stay tuned for that video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Just keep on to express yourself in your own way and we could have some fun no problems coming in our way i would like you just the way you are and you would like me just the way i am and i would like you just the way you are the way you are oh. keep on doing what you do doing what you do just keep on doing what you do. Keep on doing what you do. Doing what you do. Doing what you do. Doing what you do. Doing what you like. You guys, I absolutely hate how coconut water tastes. I think it's absolutely disgusting. However, you can't taste it in a smoothie and it's very hydrating and very good for you. So I also use it in the kids' smoothies as well to get some extra nutrients and extra hydration in. Just a little mom hack. Another mom hack is if you add some cauliflower to your kids' smoothies or avocado, they really can't taste it. The fruit covers it up. So again, just an extra way uh, to get some nutrition. All right, the pantry is beautiful and restocked. Now we are moving on. I'm just gonna put away some groceries that I had and show you how I organize them. So you may have already seen this before if you're not new here, but if you are new here, this is how I organize my cleaning supplies. This is literally all of my cleaners that I have. I use thieves for everything. And then I have some dishwasher stuff, some hand soaps. Um, I do use magic eraser here and there. Every mom needs a little magic eraser in your life. Just make sure you're wearing gloves when you use it. Um, but anyway, this is how I refill my pods. I like having them in this pull-out drawer. This drawer does have a lock on it um, just because Evie gets into everything. Um, but yeah, I really like this. And I will try to link all of these organizational items for you. I did make these labels on my Cricut. Pancakes are also a daily thing for us, whether it's with our breakfast for dinner or in the morning before school. 
um, we love the Bisquick gluten-free pancake mix so this is how we refill it and then I do just keep the instructions on the back and like I said we don't really need an expiration date because we go through it so quickly I started this video jamming out to 2000 hip-hop and then I got on to Luke Bryan who I also love it's the best of both worlds Next, this is how I refill my sprinkles. My sprinkle container makes me so happy. Um, I know, it's a little things in life, but it's also things that excite you when you're in your 30s or when you're a mom. So I'm refilling some of the containers that had Christmas sprinkles in there and putting them um, full of, I can't speak today, sorry. Filling them up with Easter sprinkles. So if you ever need sprinkles, go to Sprinkle Pop. They have these cute little bags and they make the cutest sprinkles ever. It's like the perfect amount too. your happiness in a sprinkle maker. Anyway, now I'm refilling my rice vinegar and liquid aminos. Also, both of those mix in a stir fry is amazing. Uh, liquid aminos we use in place of a soy sauce most of the time. They do have gluten-free soy sauce called tamari. Um, La Choy also makes a gluten-free soy sauce, but I just love the taste of liquid aminos. It's like salty and sweet and a little bit better for you. And then just refilling both of these. I've had these containers for a while now but they have held up really great and they work out perfectly, keeping everything nice and fresh and convenient. And up top here is where I keep my overstock, so I'm just adding some balsamic vinegar up there that I had down there and the rest of the liquid aminos. Next, I'm just filling some spices. I do really enjoy getting my spices from Thrive Market because they come in a bag and they're organic and just really good, but I got this from Target. And then I'll show you where I keep the overflow of that as well. I have been debating putting my spices in the drawer above. I want them to be like laid out and nice. I don't know. I've had this like this since we moved in a year ago and I've had these spices for even longer than that. So that's why it's good to invest in items that you like, like these little jars and things like that because you are, this isn't something that you're going to change out all the time. Um, so yeah, I love this. Okay, and I finally, I'm sure you've seen these everywhere since they went viral on TikTok. They have all different kinds now. Um, when they first went viral, you couldn't even find them anywhere. Um, but now Amazon has them, of course, because Amazon has everything. Um, so I'm just, you know, you can see I'm getting like things stuck in this uh, drawer. Um, just finally using these little, I think it's a quart size, a uh, sandwich size, and a freezer bag size. For your baggies I also already have some organizational items in there that I still love and I will do like a little overview at the end for you to see those as well
Finally, we are on our last thing, which is the supplements. The reason I wanted this more organized, it's, you know, there's like a method to it and, you know, I know where things are. However, we all have our different supplements. So I got these containers at TJ Maxx, hoping that I could just like pull them out and have the handle facing towards me. But unfortunately, they were a little bit too big. Um, so that didn't work out. Um, I had to put them sideways, but still, it's easy enough for me to grab my bin, Chris to grab his bin, and then there's like a kid's bin. Um, so it's just really easy for our mornings because we do have our kids take liquid supplements and there's a couple mixed together. Um, it's not just like a gummy. We do keep gummies on hand in case like we're running late or something like that, but we do like to just give them the liquid supplements. So these bins worked out really well. So real mom life here. I had to leave everything out like this and take Carter to a magic show at his school. So you're going to see an outfit change, but I did just leave everything like that. Um, and the kids didn't go near it, of course. And now I am back home. It's later at night and I am just finally finishing up organizing this. So I have our cough drops refilled and I just have some lemon essential oil on here and I'm just scraping off all the adhesive. I don't know why they have to make stickers that sticky for price tags. It's really annoying trying to get it off, but lemon oil is the answer. Um, and here I'm just keeping like our liquid IV and hydration packets. And then on the other side, I am doing um, like the straws and the little uh, syringes for medications. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video and that it gave you some motivation. I hope you have the most amazing week ahead and let me know if you want to see any more organizing videos uh, this month. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany Beeston from Beauty and the Beastons and I upload every single Tuesday and Sunday so make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a video. And also to all my OGs here, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you want to see an Aldi grocery haul and produce prep and restock and all of that on Tuesday. And before we get further into the video, I just want to tell you guys, thank you so much for being here and choosing to spend your time with me. It means a lot. We are so close to 600,000 subscribers. So 
you know my goal is to get there by July 10th which is my birthday it's a huge goal and that's a lot of subscribers but I think we can do it and if not I hope that inspires you to put yourself out there even if you don't know for sure if you're gonna reach your goal you got to put it out there into the world anyway let's get into this video the first thing I'm doing I showed you like a little overview of everything I got from TJ Maxx and Target for organization and then I also have a bunch of these containers already that have snacks in and stuff but these were empties I really needed to go grocery shopping so it was the perfect time to film this video because I had like nothing in the fridge the pantry was looking kind of sad um, so this was the perfect time so just rinsing everything out washing things getting everything set up to do this refresh it is so nice guys I'm so happy with how it came out it always cracks me up that a 28 minute video actually took me three days to film plus shopping and planning but I love how it came out especially you'll see later I did my baking cabinet and we do we do like a lot of cakes and baking and stuff like that in our family so to have that nice and organized and have everything in one spot truly makes me so happy this upcoming saturday we have carter's pokemon seventh birthday i can't believe my oldest is seven it's just insane to even say that but i'm really excited to film a party prep it's been a minute all right now that that's done we are starting on the bridge like i said there's just not like a lot of food in here and if you come back on tuesday for my aldi haul be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you want to see that um, i'm going to go shopping at aldi and i'm going to definitely film at least like the aldi finds area because i love that spot it's like my favorite um, one time I got in trouble for filming in the store, so I'm going to try, but we'll see how it goes. Um, but once I do that haul, I'll do all the produce prep and just, you know, really set the fridge up nicely for the week. This is just a clean out basically, and I'm going to scrub everything down and get rid of the expired food. I was actually very, very, very surprised when I cleaned out my pantry how much stuff that was expired because I just always assume like nuts and baking mixes and stuff are good for a while but so much of my stuff had expired in February and I was just shocked so unfortunately I did have to get rid of a lot in the pantry um, but now I know to use it up faster. So step one of course is always taking everything out and just wiping everything down this fridge I, I have a love-hate relationship with this fridge um, it's just I never find like a good way to truly fit the most in here it's a narrow uh, fridge with the freezer on the bottom also on Tuesday I'm gonna be organizing the freezer I got some different um, organization bins for the freezer because I just feel like no matter what I do the freezer can never be organized um, so that'll be on Tuesday as well but this fridge, like I said, we have a love-hate relationship. I'm constantly adjusting the shelves and trying new things, but we go through a lot of produce in our house. So um, usually I just use my produce bins, which you'll see in my upcoming video. But right now I'm basically just wiping everything down with hot soapy water and then I'm gonna dry it off.
Okay, so now I'm just starting to put everything back. If I have any recommendation for your fridge, it's to get a Lazy Susan, which on my channel we call Tina Turner, because Susan does not deserve to be called lazy. Everybody knows she works hard. Um, but they're just so nice for like putting like your coffee creamers on. Um, I even have one that I put all of my like liquid supplements in. It's just nice to have everything together and know where it's at. Basically organization for me, first of all, my entire life. Ask my mom. Mom, if you're watching, comment below. <laughs> I've always just been somebody who loves organization. My mom actually is the same way um, and I enjoy doing it. And my son Carter is the same way. He really just enjoys it. He finds it relaxing and calming. And when things are just in order, my life goes easier with four kids. Of course, they're constantly like moving things around and I have to adjust things from time to time. But when you're in a rush and you have four kids, it's really nice to just know where everything is. All right, we're done with that. It's clean, nothing fancy, nothing extra. That part comes in on Tuesday. Um, but yeah, I'm just happy that it's clean and I'm happy that all the bad food is out of here and that I know what I have and what I need. That's another really great thing about being organized is that you save money because you are not overbuying and things are not gonna go bad unless you're me and you have a bunch of baking mixes that went bad. Um, but it's just really nice, especially in my pantry, which you'll see later. I always like look in there to see like for dinner ideas and I have certain spots, which we'll go through a little bit later, that make meal planning much easier. But anyway, this is my baking cabinet. It was just not working. We love these glass containers with the wood tops and they worked well for us for a while, but I don't know if this seal is getting old or what, but it's just not keeping my dried goods um, very fresh. So I'm going to be switching those out for the other OXO, I believe it's called the jars with the white push tops. I'm going to be switching them out because that keeps things very fresh, but first I'm just vacuuming this out. And I do have tons of other uses for those glass jars as well, which you'll see later. Um, but yeah, I basically save all of my organization items unless I give them to my mom or sisters and then I wind up reusing them. So I have a whole spot in my basement that's just organizers that I often use. So right now I'm basically just switching everything over and restocking and making a mess and you'll see my little post-it notes because I will go ahead and print everything out on my Cricut. You can also just tape the expiration dates to the bottom, um, just easy and keeps track of everything. Okay, we are finally to the Cricut making some labels and this honestly is the part that took the longest just like making all the labels and peeling them off and getting them to stick to the transfer tape and all of that. I love how it all comes out and it always looks beautiful but it definitely takes up some time so if you're not doing these labels it would probably take a lot less time.
If you don't have a Cricut, I definitely recommend them. I use mine all the time for labeling, um, making shirts, making uh, birthday decorations, and just holiday decorations in general. But if you don't have one and you have no interest in getting one, you can also just order these labels or any custom labels on Etsy too. Alright, now we're moving on to just like restocking some sprinkles. You know, my sprinkle organizer sparks so much joy, and that's just something that happens when you're almost 34. Maybe I just need some time, some space to figure out how to give me all of you. If you give me one more try, I might just realize that it will always be as two. Maybe I just need some time, some space to figure out how to give me all of you. If you give me one more try, I might just realize that it will. I mean, look at that. It's just it's just beautiful. I don't know how anyone could not love that. But anyway, more labeling and then we're going to start putting everything back into our little baking cabinet and just making it all make sense. I know this is all on me. Mm, I'm sorry. For the way we left things I know you heard I didn't mean to start a war. I'm still learning how to talk up on you know it gets hard sometimes Maybe I just need some time Some space to figure out How to give me all of you If you give me one more try I might just realize That it will always be as two Maybe I just need some time Some space to figure out How to give me all of you If you give me one more try Alright, so up top here it's like the extra baking stuff and some random things as well. Um, but I wanted to just give you a little overview of what the pantry looks like now, um, just so you can see how it got. Um, like I said, we've just been so busy lately. I feel like everyone's extra busy this time of year as well with recitals and graduations and birthday parties. And I'm so grateful for all of that because living is much more important than having an organized home in my opinion. So anyway, life gets messy sometimes and we organize it and make it better. So that's what we're doing today. This is the overview. Um, so I'm just getting that baking stuff out so I can figure out how to fit that in my baking cabinet and just have everything in one spot so that I know what I have. It was a perfect time to do it, so now I know what I need for Carter's cake as well. So I had this container from something else, but it fits candles perfectly. And also, guys, Dollar Tree right now has like the best candles. All of those candles that you saw there were all from Dollar Tree, including the happy birthday ones and the seven. So definitely check out Dollar Tree for their candles. This is all just for food colorings, which obviously I don't love to use food coloring because it's super unhealthy. Um, but you know, sometimes we need to color our cakes, vibrant colors. I tried some natural food coloring and it was very mediocre. So if you have a recommendation, let me know down below. But here those glass jars are coming into handy because this is not stuff that needs to be kept fresh. 
and Carter really wanted to help me organize so he started with this and then you're gonna see him also redo the coffee drawer I was so impressed he did an amazing job um, we did have like a big coffee pot up here but we wound up moving it to the basement and bringing our Nespresso back up into the kitchen so that is why the coffee like Nespresso drawer was unorganized because we just threw everything in there um, it was organized at one point when it was still up here but Anyway, I can't wait for you to see what a great job Carter does. Look at him go. He is so good at this. It reminds me of me when I was little. I just always found joy in it. I would help my friends with their bedrooms. I'd help my friend's moms organize. Um, it's just funny like some people just have it in them and enjoy it and I also think a lot of people could reframe their minds from being like oh I have to organize this or oh, I have to clean to where oh cleaning is going to make me feel really good and my house looks good or organizing is going to make me feel like you know less cluttered and make my mind feel more at ease so just reframing your mind has helped me a lot in my life and I bet it could help a lot of you as well. So in this last bin here, we decided to put the drawer divider to split up the two different types of Nespresso, which was great. It was just like a, you know, we weren't planning on that, but it worked out really well. And then these containers were from TJ Maxx. I don't know if you saw that in the beginning of this video, um, but they worked out perfectly for the coffee drawer. You show me, you show me what it's like to fall in love. Only you could set me free. All right, now that that's done, I'm just doing all of our bars right now. Um, so I, this is new from Target, this container. Um, it worked out perfectly because we have a lot of bars that we eat. Um, so doing that right now, and then I'm going to pick it up on the following day. All right, it is the next day. We are finishing up and I'm taking everything out of the pantry and I'm gonna wipe everything down and use my like vacuum mop in there um, and then just take it one thing at a time. All right, now that all of that is clean, I am just taking off all of the little um, transfer papers off of my labels here. Chris thinks it's hilarious because he's like, okay, you have a clear container. Why do you need the labels on there? I respect that opinion. However, I'm going to disagree because I'm the one who makes the grocery list. So if something's empty, it's so easy for me to just come in here and be like, oh, every single week we have Doritos, Tostitos pretzels pretzel rods chips cookies okay so it makes sense to me and guess what else it's not hurting anybody and guess what else it's going to help the kids learn how to read <laughs> so 
so like I said, we are out of a lot. You'll see at the end of the video here, um, the evening that I was pretty much finished filming this, my Thrive Market order came. So on Tuesday with my Aldi haul, I'm also going to do like a Thrive Market restock in here as well. So you'll get to see, you know, how everything looks when it's really full. Uh, now that summer is here um, and the kids are going to be home, they have uh, camp three days a week, but you know, they're going to be home a lot more. Um, we go through snacks even faster, so we definitely got to uh, stay on top of our snacks here because snacks are life, as you know. So anyway, I also really enjoy these bins. These are from Ikea. They're like $5, um, but I'm putting baking mixes. This one is going to be dressings and marinades. Again, I love these little Tina Turners. These are from Amazon, and I use them for everything. They're in my linen closet. Um, they're just perfect, and they're narrow enough to fit in. Uh, most cabinets and on most shelves. This is going to be like my peanut butter and jelly one and a random coconut thing and then we're going to have one for popcorn like the popcorn that you make um, and then we are also doing we have one for like lollipops and fruit snacks so you'll see all that at the end here. Okay, so you guys know we have tacos at least once a week and sometimes even more than that because it's a meal that our entire family will eat. So I like having that little taco bin. Obviously, I need to buy taco shells and my seasonings are by the stove. But just seeing that and seeing what we have, it's like, okay, there's nothing left in that bin. I need to order stuff for taco night. I also use my Alexa list all the time and so do the kids. They'll be like adding things to our grocery list. I even mentioned the one time that Tanner told Alexa to add toilet paper to our grocery list and I was just like such a proud mom. Also, I don't know about you guys, but I am so excited that my kids are going to be home for summer break. I know they're going to drive me crazy, but it's also going to be a lot of fun. I always like hear and read things about saying like you only have 18 summers with your kids. I don't agree with that because we're going to be going on family vacations even when they're well into their 30s. But, um, you know, they're only little ones, so I would try to make it extra special for them. I got them like some end of summer stuff that I'm going to put out on the island tomorrow Monday since it's like their official last day um, I got like a little blow-up pool and some goggles and some floats for the beach some sand toys water balloons I just wanted to make it extra special for them I also finally got them their own luggage they've been dying to have their own luggage for years now you know it's like little tiny luggage that they can use when we go on trips even though we love just like a local shore trip um, we go to Long Beach Island every summer it's our happy place I'm obsessed with it there uh, my hopes and dreams are to buy a vacation home there one day, um, but even packing their luggage for that, I think it just makes them feel really cool. So I can't wait to see their faces. I know that they will be so grateful, and yes, it's extra, but you know that's just what I like to do for them. I like to make everything extra special in their childhood because you only get one childhood. Also, not saying you have to go spend a bunch of money on your kids. Even just like the Dollar Tree has so many fun summer things out. You buy them like a little float a little pair of goggles and some sand toys from Dollar Tree and I bet you just makes them so excited to start their summer break. I know my mom always did little things like that for me and it meant so much to me and it just made everything feel extra special but that is my goal in life is to just make their childhoods the best that I can. So 
so I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Again, we're so close to 600,000 subscribers. It's a huge goal of mine and a huge milestone, and I can't wait to celebrate that with all of you and my family. And I hope that you come back on Tuesday to see the Aldi grocery shop and haul and the Thrive Market restock and all of that um, and the produce prep and let me know what other videos you want to see. I'll have a Pokemon party prep coming up soon, so I'm very excited for that as well. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany Beeson and I upload every single Sunday and Tuesday. Sundays, I try to do a Sundays at Tiffany's as we like to call it and just kind of get you ready for the week ahead. However, today's video is a little different. It could definitely give you motivation to organize and things like that, but I'm gonna be going through my entire home, showing you my Amazon and a couple of Target favorite organizational items. I have been obsessed with organizing ever since I was younger. I've dealt with anxiety my entire life and organization is just a way for me to relax. Plus when my home is organized on the outside, it helps me inside with all of the things that are on my mind constantly with four children. I will try my best to have everything linked down below. If you don't see anything, just comment and let me know. I will find that link for you or at least try the best that I can. Make sure to let me know if you like these types of videos. If you do like it, make sure you share it with your friends and comment, it really does help me a lot. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. But before we get into it, I also wanted to tell you that Tuesday, I just filmed a brand new meal prep with me and I think you'll really enjoy that. So be sure to come back and let's get into it. Okay, so this first product is just a plain old shower hook. You want it with the double hook on it because you're going to fold your jeans or your jean shorts and just place the hooks in between the belt loops that are sticking out on the side here. I'll show you an example on screen, but it's super easy and it just makes your jeans look so much better. This is when we first moved into this house. I was organizing my jeans, but I also am going to show you how I have them now since I got my closet redone. This next item is like a two-tiered Lazy Susan, what most people call it, but on this channel we call it Tina Turner. Now that my uh, amazing subscribers taught me that they call it that, I can't stop saying it. It's funny and we always say here that Susan deserves a break, but first of all, how easy was that to put together? I don't think you can really tell with this lighting here because I think I filmed this at night, but it is pink. When I went to grab the link for this though, they only had clear and black available. But I also have the same exact organizer under the girls' sink in their bathroom as well. Also under the sink I have this two-tiered organizer which is perfect for hair brushes or curling irons. Um, I've also had just cleaning supplies in here with cleaning cloths but it's great because the drawer pulls out and it's super easy to use and just keeps everything neat and tidy. The 
these jars I have all over the house. These are from Target, but you can find them on Amazon. I think they are a little bit more expensive on Amazon. They are glass jars from Target. I'm using them to organize my linen closet with bath bombs. I put my Epsom salts in there, razors, soaps, but you can use these for anything. You can use them in the kitchen. Um, they're also just really beautiful if you wanted to put like Easter candy. I'm saying that because Easter's coming up. Or any holiday type candies. I've done that in the past as well. They're very versatile and affordable. I love this jewelry organizer because it's stackable and it also keeps your jewelry from tarnishing. I also just kept this footage in here from this little bracelet holder that I grabbed from TJ Maxx. They usually have it in stock, so be sure to check your stores there. I did look on Amazon and I didn't find anything that was quite like that, so I didn't link it. This next item seems unnecessary until you actually have it. So I actually saw this on TikTok and I was like, oh, this would be awesome. So at the time here in this video, I was still having to pump a couple times a day on top of nursing. Um, now I only have to pump like randomly because she is 16 months old. Um, so now I use it for my drinks and stuff, but it fits perfectly in between the space, in between the nightstand and my bed. So I just keep drinks on there, oils, whatever I want, remotes. It's perfect. This is another item that seems unnecessary until you have it, but now we always know where the remote is, which is a big deal when you have a bunch of kids running your house. Back to bathroom organization, I love this because it fits cotton swabs and cotton balls in there perfectly. I also have this in the girls' bathroom as well. If you ever watch my channel, you know I have these everywhere. They are the perfect drawer organizers. The longer ones on the left are from Amazon. The shorter ones that you see here are for more for clothing when you have shorter drawers. And these are from Target. They're adjustable. Um, the ones that I have linked from Amazon are perfect for a larger drawer, which I'll show you an example here in a second. But this is just the perfect way to organize any kind of drawer, honestly. So I always do this for the clothing drawers. I have them in all of our closets. And then the other ones that you're about to see I use in the kitchen and I actually just ordered a couple more to organize the kitchen even further. A snack organizer I've had since our old house. I loved it. The kids loved it. In our new pantry, it doesn't fit anymore, but this was perfect for organizing your kids' snacks or if you do like a grab and go lunch box, um, you know, when the kids pick stuff for lunches in the mornings or however you do it. It's just great to have and it turns and it's easy. Um, but since we don't have space, I use this underneath the boys' sink. So if you want an underneath sink organization, this would also work in there as well, it just didn't fit in our new pantry. These little shelves are not only aesthetically pleasing, they give you a little bit more space and just help things 
look really nice and organized. I like it because we can double the amount of cups we have in our cabinet here. Um, and you could use this anywhere. You could use this for food, any type of thing you need in the kitchen. It's just a great way to organize and again, it's like the perfect height for cups. This tea bag organizer it comes in a set of two and it just makes everything not only look better, but it saves you space because you don't need a bunch of random tea boxes. I love drinking tea and it's just, I don't know, I feel like it just makes everything look so pretty. You can see exactly what you have and that is always helpful just to make sure that you're not overbuying um, and to know what you need when you're looking around in your cabinets thinking of your grocery list for the week ahead. This utensil organizer is really nice. It expands for bigger drawers and it works perfectly for us. These spice jars we have been using for a very long time. They are from Amazon and the labels are from Etsy. I will have them linked below, but it just makes everything look so beautiful. Again, um, everything is just nice and uniform so you know exactly what you have and what you need. I guess we can say this is organizing salt and pepper, so I threw it in here. I love this thing, it's amazing. We actually got it for like our whole family for Christmas because anytime anyone comes over, they love these salt and pepper shakers as well. These oil dispensers are amazing. I also have one for soy sauce as well as you'll see here. This original video, I went ham organizing my kitchen. I even put like peanut butter into a glass jar. I saw it on TikTok, it was so extra, but it just didn't work for me. I can say I tried it, um, but putting peanut butter and ketchups and things like that into their own jar was just not sustainable for me. So we're back to having normal jars for that kind of stuff, but these oil jars do work out really great for us. These hangers were actually a recent purchase for us. Um, 
I've told you before, but my oldest son got really into track suits this year in first grade. Um, so we've been trying to keep pants and jackets and things together. Um, so this is perfect for that. It's also perfect for skirts and all of that. So I love these hangers. These little honeycomb dividers aren't really working for our drawers anymore, um, but they were really nice to organize like socks and things like that. So definitely keep these in mind if you have a smaller drawer. As a girl mom, I feel like I'm always battling the bows and hair ties. I find them all over my house constantly, and I still do. There's really no solution to that. Um, but we do have an upstairs basket, which I'll show you later, which is helpful for just organizing everything. Um, so this I'm using for ponytail holders, which Ella also uses these as bracelets as well. So you can put bracelets and ponytail holders on this. And then it also came with two little bow stands, so we will be using that as well. Um, and then I'll show you how else I organize her bows in just a second here. So this we use for hair ties and headbands. We put hair ties on the bottom and clips up top here, um, and then we put the headbands around it. This is great. We've had this for a long time now, and it still works out really well for us. I like the idea of acrylic organization because it goes with any theme. I kind of use a lot of acrylic stuff for parties as well, just so I can reuse it for any type of party that we're having. Since it's clear, neutral, it goes with anything. So these clear bookshelves I love in the girls room.
These containers are amazing for organizing art supplies. That's exactly what we use them for, but honestly, they're great for organizing anything. Um, don't worry, the crowns are completely mixed up and no longer beautiful in my different shades of colors here, like who is at home edit. Um, but it still works out great. They can always just grab this, take it out of our craft closet, and use it as they like. So we really enjoy that. We also have this for arts and crafts. They didn't have a clear one anymore, so I just linked. They have like gray and yellow. They have some other colors, but um, at this point we were using all of this for paints. So these file holders are actually different from what I have in this video. I have really cheap cardboard ones from Ikea, but in the future I would love to get these plastic ones from Amazon because they will just hold up even better. This is a great way to organize coloring books and papers and all of that. We really love crafts in our house, so we have a ton of craft supplies. Also, you guys see that I use my Cricut for everything. Did you guys hop on the Cricut train yet? I've had mine for years and I'm still just like getting comfortable using it, um, but I feel like I need a label on everything besides the pantry. I just can't bring myself to label the pantry for some reason. I feel like the containers are clear, it's fine, you don't really need to label it. Um, the craft stuff I like to label so that the kids can see it, it helps them learn how to read and they know where to put things back. I have such a love for this cart because I've used it for so many different things since having it. When I first got it, I used it as a postpartum little cart for right next to my bed. I stored snacks and waters and diapers and ba basically just stuff for both myself and the baby while we were both recovering in bed. Um, it was amazing, but obviously I didn't need it anymore, so now I'm using it for different art supplies um, and then labeling this as well. But it's great because they'll go in the craft closet and just pull this out to the table and it works out really great for us. I use these bags for everything under the sun, but they are perfect for board games. It's just nice to put them in the bags instead of having like a bunch of boxes everywhere, taking up a ton of space. It's a great way to save space. We labeled the different games on the bags. Also great for puzzles. We have them for out to dinner bags. Each kid has their own bag. We'll put like some stuff in there to keep them busy while they're waiting for their meals. Um, they're just literally great for whatever you need. Next up, my Target produce containers that you know I'm obsessed with. Speaking of, I've been thinking about making um, an Amazon favorites for either like meal prep or kitchen items. I just have so many Amazon gadgets that I use on a daily basis in the kitchen. Um, I don't know, let me know if any of that sounds interesting to you because I feel like I would really enjoy making that. Um, so basically Amazon meal prep products, Amazon kitchen products. Staying on the fridge here, this egg container comes with a pack. I'm not using all of them, I'm only using one, 
Um, I don't know if it genuinely saves space or not versus having like a regular egg holder in there, but I like it and it makes me happy. <laughs> These acrylic drawers bring me joy and they're on sale, so you should probably go and grab them, but I feel like you could use these for anything. Um, but they're perfect for under sink organization, so I'll show you how I did that. But honestly, you can do makeup, you could do art supplies in here, anything you need, these are great. So if you're late to the game, you need to know about these coconut sponges because no matter what, they won't smell like mildew like regular sponges do. Um, and I just feel like not enough people know about how amazing these sponges are. This is something really simple, affordable, and just helpful. It's a lid organizer for your pots and pans. It just saves space and helps you from having to like dig through everything underneath where you keep your pots and pans. up cereal containers I'm not gonna lie I didn't realize that um, OXO made cereal containers and I recently became obsessed with their products because it just keeps everything so fresh I'll actually show you that in the next clip here so I really want the matching cereal containers um, but this is fine for now but you know it just they're so pretty and they keep everything really fresh also when you have the clear things you know what you need so it's really helpful for me when I'm making my grocery list knowing what exactly we need um, but to those OXO products I was telling you about they're amazing they just keep everything fresh I kind of want to throw away all of my baking beautiful glass jars that I have and replace them with these just because like I said nothing keeps things as fresh as these do These are amazing not only because they're pink, but they're the perfect size for different like bars and apple sauces and all of that. So they help keep our pantry really organized and of course they're super cute. These are actually out of stock right now, I looked, but they're the perfect size for snack bags and things like that. So that is what I use them for. Um, but again, they could be used for anything. Um, I could see like uh, macaroni and cheese boxes, pasta boxes in here, whatever. Um, I just, I really like having 
them because the kids go ahead in here and like it's their little convenience store and grab snacks when it's snack time. Okay, some might think this is unnecessary, but it is one of my favorite things that I have in my kitchen. It's considered a spice container, but I thought it'd be perfect for sprinkles. Yes, we have that many sprinkles because we have kids. Sprinkles are a big deal in our house. I'm refilling them right now with our Easter sprinkles, um, but it's like a perfect little tower. You can obviously use it for spices, but we call it our sprinkle organizer. All right, I know I'm late to the game with these ones, but when they first came out, I think they got popular on TikTok, and there's like, there still are a million different kinds of it, but when they first came out, they were like $60 or something insane like that, and I just couldn't make myself do it, but when I saw they were $35, I was like, okay, I can get this, but now seeing like how perfectly they fit and just make everything nice, I'm obsessed. These are also in that drawer. I love it because they have little suction cups on the bottom, so when you're using saran wrap and foil, it's just perfect. Back to Tina Turner, I love her. These are amazing anywhere in your house. If you have a corner shelf like this right here, it's a perfect spot to keep things on the corner. Um, and just besides everything being organized, it's very functional um, just to be able to spin it around. And again, not wasting that space in the corner there. I also use them in the bathroom. I use them in our craft closet. I use them in the kitchen. I literally use them everywhere, so you'll see. Last but not least is this stair basket. It has changed our lives. Instead of there just being crap on the stairs all the time, this is amazing. Definitely a must buy. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and be sure to leave any April video requests in the comments below. It's super helpful for me for coming up with new content ideas and just like planning out my month in general. So thanks again and I will see you on Tuesday for a meal prep slash grocery haul.
Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Tiffany Beeston from Beauty and the Beastons and I upload every single Tuesday and Sunday. However, this Tuesday we're taking off. We're going on a little family trip, but I promise today's video is motivating enough to get you through the week ahead. So that's exactly what I hope this video does for you. I hope it gives you that little nudge to do what you've been needing to do. We are doing a lot in this video, as you can see here. Lots and lots of cleaning, plus tons of organizing and a healthy dinner recipe. The first thing we're doing is just going around every room and stripping all of the beds. I love doing this. It is like a lot to do at once, but I just love knowing that everybody has fresh, clean sheets and blankets for the week ahead. If you haven't noticed, my kids only use like a fitted sheet, a regular sheet, and then like a soft little plush blanket. They don't have comforters on their bed. This is the guest room. Um, and I'm just curious, do your kids have comforters on their bed? I just feel like mine would never use theirs and they would be on the floor constantly instead of on their bed. But I know a lot of people use beddies. I just, I don't know. Um, I don't think they really fit like the kids style of their bedrooms, but I love the idea of it. Next, we're just throwing everything into the washer, but first I have to switch the laundry. You're gonna see a lot of this laundry room in this video because not only is there a lot to wash with all these blankets, but I'm also gonna finally be like organizing all of my laundry stuff and making the DIY recipes that I like to use for my laundry. Now that our first load is in, I'm just going into the kids' rooms and the guest room, putting some purification in their diffuser. They are at camp right now. Um, otherwise, there's no way I'd be able to get any of this done. Chris has Everly, and yeah, I'm just filling up the diffusers with purification because I like doing it when they're not in their rooms, and I just feel like it really helps with the air, like cleaning the air and the germs out of the air. Finally, we are making our way downstairs. I'm trying to show you what the island actually looks like because it's covered in like sticky stuff because this is the majority of where the kids eat, the sink is full, all of that because I feel like when you set the camera back further, you can't even really tell just how dirty everything is. So I was trying to capture that um, and go from there. There's still dishes on the sink, all of that. But before I wipe things down, I'm continuing to make a mess pretty much. So. I'm putting the dirty dishes in the sink, yes, and putting some things away, but then I'm going to refill the fridge, cut up some produce, and get dinner started in the crock pot and instant pot, just because I know I'm gonna be making a mess, you might as well do that before you really get into the real cleaning. So for dinner, I am making 
um, burrito bowls in spaghetti squash. So I'm just using a packet of taco seasoning and a jar of the salsa. This is like, you know, one of those recipes that will live on forever if I could get this salsa open. Um, but it's just a recipe that is just a staple that we use a lot in this house. Um, so I'm starting the chicken in that, and then for the Instant Pot, I am doing the spaghetti squash in there. I'm gonna cut that in half, take the seeds out, and we're gonna do a manual pressure for five minutes, and then a quick release with one cup of water in the Instant Pot. Now that that stuff is all ready, we are, before we tackle all of this, I gotta go back upstairs. I just heard the laundry stop and I'm gonna switch that. I recorded this video how I truly clean. I'm all over the place and that's why I make myself a list um, because I would seriously start one project and be all over the house in a different project if I didn't have a list to keep me on track. Um, like, you know what I mean? Like, you are going to go clean inside of your refrigerator but end up organizing your junk drawer. That is me. Um, so now I'm just like hanging my towel over um, the railing here to help that dry. Before I put it on my bed, I'll do like a little tumble dry on low just for a couple of minutes to make sure like all the wrinkles are out and it's nice and fluffy. back downstairs I'm putting away the dishes that were drying just so that I can go ahead and load the dishwasher and hand wash anything that needs to be hand washed
was looking like a fool when I met ya All covered up in the dirt from my past So insecure about myself when I met ya dishes are done now I'm just getting the spaghetti squash out of here now that it's like nice and cooled off I'm storing this in the fridge until dinner time and I'm also saving like the casing of the spaghetti squash I guess that's what you call it I don't even know what to call it it's not just the skin because it looks like a bowl because that's one of my favorite parts about like eating spaghetti squash is that you get to serve it in a little spaghetti squash bowl I don't know that's how I am this is my outside fridge by the way that's where I'm putting all of that at for now and then I'm just putting some oils in my diffuser and then we had to go back upstairs to switch the laundry again. I told you there's a lot of laundry going on in this video. But after we switch that load of laundry, we are organizing my like sandwich bag, aluminum foil slash wax paper drawer. I don't know what you call it, but the before and after is amazing. And I feel like it was worth every penny to get those organizational items just to make that an easier, you know, way to get ready in the morning you know school is starting soon we pack their lunch for camp all of it i know i know i know it is illogical that's something that you do to me is chemical i know i know i know it is illogical something that you do to me i'm the one with the broken heart waiting for you to come out and save me I'm a mess, need to untangle And I'm a fool for you, baby Fool, fool for you, baby Ready for you to come and save me Fool for you So these little white things that you see here for the saran wrap and aluminum foil are great. They're only $18, which is worth it because you're never going to buy them again. Um, but the only thing I will say is that my aluminum foil was just a little bit too big for it. So I wind up cutting this little inner tube right here and then it was absolutely perfect. Um, also it does come with plastic wrap in it so if you're out of plastic wrap it's a good time to order these and there's little suction cups on the bottom so that when you're pulling from them the whole thing is not going to lift off of the counter or out of your drawer Watch me break
Next, I'm just refilling our Nespresso drawer. I do have to order another divider for this drawer, so don't mind that right now. Um, but I'm refilling it. Uh, coffee is life, as you know. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing, just refilling this. But the message I was trying to say is that I wanted to get the organizing done, the cooking done, all of that stuff done, so that I'm pretty much done in the kitchen besides just cleaning everything. It is officially time to get into the actual cleaning portion of this. So I'm taking everything out of the oven. I'm just going to give it a really good scrub with some Thieves dish soap and a scrub daddy. That little sponge is amazing. I mean, so is everything Thieves. You know, that's all that I use. Um, also, if you ever want anything from Young Living, they recently changed their policy. So you can just go on their website and order whatever you want. You don't have to get a starter kit. If you spend 100 PV, you automatically unlock that 24% off for an entire year. And you don't ever have to feel worried about being pressured into the business, which everybody like has concerns about because now you have to pay like an additional um, fee to be a business partner and like get like a little pamphlet in the mail and all of that. So literally now you can just get the products that you want, like I've been saying forever, but now it's a little bit more black and white and a little less gray. So anyway, scrubbing all of this down. Why don't you come sit next to me? Let things happen naturally. I'll be doing a legitimate vacuum later, but right now I gotta get these crumbs up so that the dogs don't eat them. Next, we are cleaning the stove top. I usually take the like grill portion off and scrub it in the sink, but I found like this is just as good and a little bit easier, having everything laid out and scrubbing the whole thing at once with the scrub daddy, wiping it down, and then I'll take everything off and do the underneath portion, which is always just a hot mess. Now I'm kind of just checking some things off the list, seeing where we're at, and then I'm gonna wipe down everything in the kitchen. I feel my feet on the ground and I'm shaking. How am I supposed to save the situation? Why does life get wasted? I always get questions on what I use to clean everything because I kind of use it for everything and it's the Thieves Cleaner also from Young Living. Um, you get like the big bottle or a little bit over um, $20 and you only use a cap full and 16 ounces of water so it does last forever. That's my favorite thing to use and you can add like whatever oils you want to it to kind of make it your own custom scent which I really like but that is what I use. 
And if you ever like want to just buy products, I have the link in my description box below. It's easy. The only weird thing is that there's like a referral ID and that's where you need my number to put in. Um, but yeah, I'll have that in the link down below. But just wiping everything down and I actually got this little red thing that you see in my hand that I use to like get all the stuck stuff off of the counter and the cooktop and all of that. It actually came with my cast iron skillet, but I use it for this. To be free. And this is how the kids entertained themselves while Chris and I were getting breakfast together today. So some dried up Play-Doh has to get thrown out, plus just cleaning up all of this mess. This is our dining room, which we do eat at a lot. We definitely eat at the island more that we have moved into this house, but all of us can't fit at the island. I didn't want to eat in kitchen at the moment because I like the space that the kids have to just run around. Um, so this works out for us. So we have the island and the dining room. But I guess what I'm trying to say here is that this dining room table has like Play-Doh encrusted into it and all of that, but it's fine. I'm not going out and buying a new dining room table when my kids are so little and just, you know, I'm happy that there's Play-Doh stuck in this table. I'm happy that my kids come here to play and it gives it some character. So now that that is all wiped down, I'm vacuuming up the tons of Play-Doh crumbs on the floor. I'm also going to go into the kitchen and vacuum in there as well. We go to New Jersey, where I say I'll be worried. You said he was nothing. But I know you get buried The sorrow of us The sorrow of us How did we end up here? We used to laugh so hard When did we stop loving, babe? When did it all go? 
but before I vacuum the kitchen, it's gonna pick up some stuff here in the living room. And as you can see, and you'll continue to see throughout this video, and as you've always seen in all of my cleaning videos, my dogs are obsessed with the vacuum and it's hilarious, but I always just get scared they're gonna get hurt. My mom's dog is the same way. I know a lot of you said your dogs chase the vacuum too. Next, I'm just picking up the playroom. It's not too bad. We recently did a huge declutter and donated a ton of toys with the kids. I was actually really proud of them. I was actually the one being like, are you sure you wanna get rid of that? And usually it's vice versa, but yeah. Um, they got rid of a ton. We have like organized bins now. I just need to make little labels for the bins. It's on my list. And actually since this video, they wound up donating their Bluey house too, which I was so sad about because I love Bluey. They still love Bluey. They just don't really play with the Bluey house. So once everything's picked up, we're gonna vacuum in here. Moving on to the bathroom, I'm just restocking everything in here and then going to clean the toilet and wipe everything down.
This is random, but I had it on my list. I really wanted to shampoo the carpet in front of um, the sink because there's like, you see that like dark gray spot over there? I have no idea what it is, something sticky. This got most of it out, but I think it's just like genuinely stained. Uh, but I was actually like appalled at how dirty the water was because I just put new water in it. And I wouldn't think that this rug would be that dirty. I'll show you at the end just how gross the water is, but yeah. It actually made me want to shampoo every single thing in my house, but my kids were home at this point and I did not have time to do that. I told you every single time, don't you worry. You would always call me at the wrong time. So you can know what I was up to. Oh, don't you get that? It's just stupid. So it's dinner time. My kids aren't eating this. I wish that they would, but as they get older, they get pickier, but that's just life. Um, Chris and I are eating this meal. The kids are eating something different, which is fine by me. That's my parenting style. I don't let my kids go to bed hungry. I know a lot of people think differently, but that's good for you and your family. Um, and this is just what works for us, you know? Um, so yeah, I also sympathize with my kids because I was the pickiest eater ever when I was little. My food couldn't touch. It was, yeah, it was pretty bad when I was little. So I know that it won't be forever. One day they'll be like me and be a foodie and love to eat. So I also forgot to mention that for the crock pot meal, you just put that on. You can do it for high for four hours or low for eight hours. I did low for eight hours, mixing in the chicken with the spaghetti squash. I'm also gonna add a can of black beans. Um, and then I'm going to add some cheese and bake this on 425 until it's like nice and warm. It didn't take very long. I wanna say like maybe 15 minutes nice and warm and the cheese is melted and then I'm going to top it with some fresh tomatoes that we cut up earlier. You can add whatever toppings you want, sour cream, guac, whatever. I'm sure guac would actually be really good on this. It is nighttime. We're back upstairs and I am hustling before bedtime. Chris made the boys' beds and they're not really pretty because they're going to bed anyway. Um, but I just had this like Dollar Tree, I guess like it's like a lipstick organizer and I wanted to organize the kids' oils in here just to make it like a little bit more put together. And it's amazing how something so little could make such a big difference. It just felt so much better than these being spread out everywhere. But yeah, happy with my little Dollar Tree organizer, putting that together. I'm going into Ella's room, throwing everything back on her bed. I'm gonna show you what my hallway looks like. It's like a pretty much like a drying place right now for all the blankets. And then we're going into the laundry room to organize that, which I was so excited to do because this has been on my list forever, which reminds me, I'm actually gonna go on to my oil account and put up the recipes for this. If you wanna check that out, it's Beast in Essentials. I'll also have that link down below. But I am just um, putting this um, like brightener into a glass jar you'll see it I use the EWG app for a lot of stuff just to see like how toxic products are so this one rate it like very very low so I started adding this to my laundry routine uh, especially like when I do like towels and stuff like that I'm adding that in here I'm making a fabric softener 
um, a stain removing stick. Um, and what else did I make here? I'm trying to look. Um, oh, a linen spray, that was really good. And then I'm just diluting my Thieves soap, which I've been meaning to do forever. Um, so yeah, I'm doing all of that. And then I got these really, really cute labels from Amazon. I know everyone's been using them lately. I started using them a long time ago when I did my spices, but I just love like how minimalistic and fresh looking they are. But anyway, I'll stop talking. Here is the laundry restock. You think you know me now. Mm -hmm. Two seconds and I might just throw you out. Mm -hmm. Cause I remember everything you did and everything I became out of my condo. So why are you doing this tonight? You always know how to get me sentimental. You So that is everything. I usually don't do this much at once in one day, but I was trying to do everything while the kids were at camp. Um, so I'm really happy with how everything came out. Usually I just break things up and do a little bit each day when the kids are home because I obviously can't do all this when they're home. But I'm very happy how everything came out. I also, our um, garage floors are finally done, so I'm really excited for when Chris moves the treadmill back into the garage to get that out of the living room. But otherwise, I love how everything came out and there's like no better feeling for the house being clean for five minutes before the kids wake up and destroy it all over again. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you next Sunday since we're doing a little family trip on Tuesday. But again, thank you all so much for all of your support and just everything you've done for our family.